everyone, hope you're fine. Today I'm going to show you how you can find some beautiful car models for free, how to import them in Blender, how to rig them with the Rigo Car add-on, and how to create your first animation. And as usual, it's a beginner level, so don't worry, it's going to be easy. Okay, let's dive in. To download free cars, I really think Sketchfab is a great option at the moment. So let's see how to do that. First, we are going to download the Sketchfab add-on. The link will be in the description. So it's here, I just have to download the zip file. Then we go back in Blender and we'll have to install the add-on. So to do so, you go in Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install. You look for your add-ons. So mine is here, Sketchfab plugin, and you click Install add-on. And you should have then something like that. And you just have to check the box to have the add-on activated. Okay, that's it for the add-on installation. To use the add-on, you just press N and you will have a new tab, Sketchfab. And you might have to log in in order to activate the add-on. If it's not the case, you can create a free account on sketchfab.com. I will also put the link in the description. Once you have the add-on activated, you can search for whatever you need. And in our case, free car. And you press enter. And voila, here you will have all the cars you need for your different projects. And to check a car, the design, if you like it or not, you can click on a car okay, before you import it. And you have this little icon, the link icon. You just click on it. And here you can check the car if it's good for your project. And as you can see, the quality is really good. The texture is really detailed. And you have some... Uh, very cool stickers and stuff like that, uh, which give some uh, realism to the to the mesh. Okay, let's, let's go back in Blender. Maybe I will show you this one also. And I click on the link. So here's another one, very clean. So I really like uh, this car also. And as you can see, uh, it's really well designed. Okay, for this example, for this project, we are going to use the Porsche 911. So let me import this one. So first I will delete the default cube. And to import a car, all you have to do is to press import model. Okay, let's, so let's do that. And here we go, we have the car in our scene. Before we continue, I will show you how the car looks like with an HDRI. So I go in HDRI maker and I will select an HDRI. Let me go on open world maybe. And I choose this one and click add. So as you can see, the car is really good looking. A lot of details on the textures. It's not perfect. I like that. You know, it's a little bit dirty. There's some uh, water or whatever is on the car. And I really like this design because it gives uh, a lot of realism to the, to the texture and to the car itself. The next step now is uh, to install the rig on this car. To ease the process, we are going to prepare the car a little bit. So first, let hide, let's hide this plane. And the first step will be to, um, to join the wheels. So the rim, you click on the rim and you click on the tire with shift. And you press Ctrl J in order to join those uh, two, uh, two meshes. And we also need to detach this empty because there's a lot of uh, <laughs> empty around. So you click on this wheel and Alt P and clear and keep transformation. Let me test if I move the empty now. Okay, now it's good. So you have to pr repeat the, this process for the four wheels. Oh, wait, wait, one thing, one more thing. When you've done doing that, you click on M, you press M new collection and let's create collection named car so we have the first wheel in the collection car so we do exactly the same for the other wheels now that we have the four wheels in the new collection let's take care of the body of the car first uh, let's uh, hide the different wheels the four wheels so i just have to hide the collection and also you go here in viewport overlays and you untick extras next uh, you click, you press A on the keyboard and you press Ctrl G, Ctrl J, sorry. I think and just that. And now Ctrl 
J. Okay, now I have only one mesh for the for the body. Then you press Alt P again and clear and keep transformation like this. If I put the extras back here, you will have if if you select the if you have selected the same car, you will have free uh, 1975. You can delete the hierarchy here, so you have something clean like this. And we are going to move this object in the car collection also. So here we go. Now we have five objects for in the car collection. We have the body and we have the four different wheels. We are going to give a specific name to each part. So for example, the body will be called body. Okay, so I have written specific names for each part. The, the, the name will be in the description, so you just have to copy paste. But it's very important that you use those exact names for the different parts of the vehicle. So now that we have the different parts named correctly, we download, we are going to download the Rigo car add-on. And the link will be in the description. This add-on is created by David Gayery. So thanks so much to David for providing this wonderful add-on for the community. This is one of the best free add-ons so far. Okay, so to download the rig, you just click on the zip file here. And you download the rig car version 7. Okay, so you, you, have the, you will have the, the zip file on your computer. And as usual, to install the add-on, you go in Edit, Preferences, Install. You look for the add-on, rig car, for example, and you click on Install add-on. Then, as usual, you have you just have to check the box. Okay, um, before we install the, the the rig, sorry, on the car, I just would like to move those wheel a little bit. So I click on seven, and I just want to align them here like that, and this one also. Okay. Now the wheels are perfectly aligned. Okay, you, we have everything prepared to install the add-on, so let's go. You select all the car parts, so shift click, okay, and you press one on your keyboard, G, Z, and you move everything on the ground, on the X axis, like this, because the rig is expecting the car to be on the grid. Let me check again, okay, it's good. You still have all your parts selected, so it's Shift A, Armature, and Car Deformation Rig. And cool, the rig is there, it's not the fi final rig. We have to tweak it a little bit. So on the body part, you will raise the Z one here, like this, just to have the balls, the middle of the balls in your car. Okay, good. I click one again, maybe seven. And you will do the same for the y-axis, just to have the ball at the end of the car, something like that. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, great. And now we have everything set up to generate the final rig. So you click on the part like this, N, rig a car, and you click generate. And voila, the rig is installed, the final rig is installed on your car and is ready to be animated. Let's check the different controls. Yes, great. This one for the wheels, and this one, perfect, suspensions. Let's see. Okay, and the wheels rotation. Okay, perfect. Now we have installed the rig on the car and we can start to work on the animation. Because it's a beginner tutorial, let's create a simple animation that will put you on the right track. So the idea is to create a path that the car will follow. Shift A, curve, path. I will move this path and I rotate this path to 170. Let me check, okay, it's good. If you select the path and you go in edit mode, and you don't have those little arrows to show you the direction of the path, you can have them if you, you just have to go in viewports overlays, and here you click on normal, you check, you check normals. 
then you will have the direction of the path. So my path is on the right direction. Let me scale it a bit. So S, Y. Mm, I think is enough. Okay. Now let's attach the car to this path. You click on the rig. You go in pause mode. So to go in pause mode, you can go here and click pause mode or just control tab. You click on the blue rig, okay, the blue one. Here you, you go on the blue icon, the name is Bone Constraint Properties, okay, not the green one, but the blue one, Bone Constraint Properties. You click on Add Bone Constraint and you select Follow Path. Here, the path is the path that we just created. Great. Okay, so we want the path to follow the curve, to follow the, so we want the car, sorry, to follow the path. So we click on follow curve. And for the animation, it's simpler if the offset goes from one to, from zero to one. So we click fixed position. So here, as you can see, if I go to one, we go at the end of the path and zero is the beginning of the path. So that will, uh, this is what we will use to animate the car. And the car is going in the wrong di direction. So to indicate that, the forward axis, you just select minus Y. And now the car is going on the right direction, in the right direction. Okay, so let's test again. Perfect. Now for the path, I want, uh, um, I want it to turn a little bit. So I go back in object mode, I select the path, and I go in edit mode. In edit mode, you select the last dot, you press E to extrude, and Y on the Y axis, just to make, to make the path a little bit longer, maybe something like that. And now you press G and X to create a curve, just like that. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, now if I go back in object mode, I click on the rig and I change the offset factor. Yeah, my car is moving along the path. That's perfect. Let's move the camera at the end of the path. So I click on camera. And maybe I go here and control Alt zero to activate the camera view. Okay, perfect. Let's move the offset factor. Okay, maybe I will move my camera back like this. And it's okay. Okay, so the animation will be something like that. I have the animation set. Perfect. Now, to animate the car, we can select the number of frames that we want. Um, I will go in frame one first. Here you go in keying and you select location, rotation and scale. And here with the car rig selected, you go on offset factor and you press I that we create a keyframe at the frame one. And now let's say that we want 150 frames. I will change that to 150. And at 150, I will go to one and press I again. Okay, so let's see, spacebar. Okay, cool. Maybe my I, I feel that my car is a little bit too slow, so I will change 150, oh wait, sorry, 150, I will go to 120. Okay, let me just finish that, 120. And now because we have less frames, the car will be faster. Yes. Okay, cool. Now we have this. And after that, we could now animate the wheels. And because of the, thanks to the, to the add-on, it's very easy to do. You just click on the, uh, on the rig and you go back in pose mode, and here you go in your rigger car, and you press big car steering, 
okay, that, we, that, that will animate the steering. Okay, let me do that. 120, yes. And big wheels rotation. Okay, let's do that. So now, let's check the animation. Yes, that's perfect. The wheels are animated. And the steering also. Perfect. And then we have our car just there. Let's fix the car animation because at the moment it's not really pretty. At the end, there are some uh, suspensions animation missing. First, we're going to add 10 frames. So we go from 120 to 130 frames. And we are going to use this control, the suspension control. Okay, be sure to be in uh, pause mode. So for this control, we are going to go five, five frames back at 115. And on the Y axis, let's add a keyframe on the Y axis. So I, for the Y axis, actually, let me expand this. Suspension, nice, and activate the screencast. Okay, so we have a keyframe at 115. We go at 120. And let's go one minus zero, 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 005 and add another keyframe. Okay, now we can see some suspension animation. And maybe four frames after. We are going to go in a positive value of uh, zero, zero, 001 and one frame again. Actually, let's go for 140 frames. Okay, let's test. Okay, and then from 124, two frames and minus zero, 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 005 for slide animation. And I add, add a keyframe and two frames again. And then I go back to zero maybe. And then another keyframe. So let's see how, how it goes. Yep, cool. Maybe it's a little bit too much, the suspension, the first suspension. I had minus 0 0.05. Maybe I will go for minus 0 0.02. Okay, I for the keyframe. Nice. Yeah, for me, it looks better. Yep, I prefer that. Okay, one last last check with nothing. Yes, it's uh, very subtle, but I think it's uh, working well. And if I go in pause mode, it's up to you if you want to change those values you can you can really you can do whatever you feel it's uh, good looking for you but i think for my case for my taste also it's uh, it's a better this way okay so the, now the animation is uh, is finished let's take care of the hdri and the environment to to finalize uh, our project for the light as usual let's use an hdri and as usual i'm going to use a hdri maker for that so I click on N and I go on the add-on HDRI maker. The link will be in the description. I click on uh, open world and I think the, the HDRI is a carry zero one. You can also find this HDRI for free. I will uh, put the link in the description and here on uh, you will find this HDRI on Polyhaven. Okay, let's go back in Blender. In in the HDRI maker, I just click on add and then if I go in render preview, I will have the HDRI applied. And let's check the animation one final time. Yeah, it's working fine. And one more thing, in my case, I have uh, a driver in the, in the car. So if you want a driver too, uh, you can go on the Mixamo. I will put a, a link in the description. All I did is I went in Mixamo. In Mixamo, you just uh, chose a character in the character section. I went for this one and you go in the animation and you type uh, sit. 
and you choose an animation for uh, that fits your, your need. And I think I went for the driving, maybe. The driving. Mm. Yep, I think I went for this one. So you just uh, download the character and you put it in your car. If you want a special uh, tutorial for that, just tell me in the comment section. But as it is pretty simple to do, <laughs> I didn't want this uh, video to be too long. Okay, so now we have our animation ready and in HD HDRI Maker, because of the HDRI Maker, I have the, I have the option to click on HDRI Projected. So when I do that, let me show you. Okay, this is without the HDRI Projected and when I click HDRI projected, as you can see now my car is on the ground. So this option is only available with uh, HDRI Maker. This is uh, why I always use this add-on because your renders look, uh, look nice very uh, quickly and very easily. So that's it guys. We went uh, from a free car from Sketchfab and we installed the rig. Then we, animate the, we animated the, the car. And for the HDRI, it's pretty simple. It's just a, a, a normal HDRI. And if you can, you can also use HDRI Maker and the ground projected to have these final results where we have uh, the, the feeling that the, the car is on the ground. Okay, so don't hesitate if you have questions in the comment section. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.